حالا در موسم و خانه کنه خانه و خانه مورد لوکت خانه دشت ما هره رکه سه هره دار هره بشه بشه آشندیم مدیم هره ره هدار مخلوقات پیدا کجیده هلو بسره انسان بلا هایر انسان کنه و داره دی هره هره دو جنوار دو میگوده جنوار کی بسه سه هره کی بندای بای کلو تو مره که تو هره لبه نبوره دنم دنگره هره دو تیزه گره ده They are branded as one of the most persecuted communities in the world by the UN. Yet nobody knows their name. They are the forgotten people. The Rohingya have been subject to state-sponsored ethnic cleansing by the Burmese government, despite their existence in Burma dating as far back as the 8th century, Rohingyas are denied citizenship and condemned as illegal immigrants. Targeted as a result of their religion and race, the Rohingya suffer oppressive levels of discrimination in the face of the Rakhine Buddhist majority. Land confiscation, forced labor, and denial of very basic human rights are characteristics of everyday reality for the Rohingya people. In recent weeks, the escalating violence has displaced more than 90,000 Rohingya people. Villages are being burnt, people are being abducted, concentration camps are being created, women are being raped, and children mercilessly killed. Survivors are desperately trying to escape persecution and seeking refuge in neighboring countries like Bangladesh but have been rejected by border guards. Boats of starving, injured and dying men, women and children are being turned away, forced to make a choice. Either return to death in Burma or wait for death on open sea. Due to the neglect from the media and governments alike, the majority of people are unaware of this dire situation. My sisters, brothers and other relatives were burnt alive. They burnt my own children. We couldn't bear it anymore, so we came to Bangladesh. The Coast Guard turned us back three times and we floated at sea for four days and four nights. And then we managed to sneak in. Three of our children were burned to death in Burma. Another two died in the boat getting here. The persecution against the Rohingya can be described in no other terms but that of ethnic cleansing and genocide. We need to pressure our leaders to act now. They need to know the world is not going to sit by while the suffering continues. The Rohingya people need our help. Find out what you can do. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, as we know, the situation in Rohingya is actually very, very serious. And it's up to us to reach out to these brothers and sisters of ours uh, in whatever way possible, starting with a supplication for them, a dua for them. May Allah create ease for them and may Allah help them uh, and grant them goodness. At the same time, to be able to reach out to them through things they need. And financially, we can reach out to them so that they could have water, they could have food, they could have clothing, and they, they are able to live in a slightly better condition. So I really call on you to reach out to them. There is a lot of goodness happening. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us to serve the good causes. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and bless them as well. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.